So now we're going to diagnose why this car is misfiring on one cylinder. So first thing I suspect is maybe the coil pack. Fords and their V6s and V8s have a particular problem with their coil packs going bad. Minivans, cars like this, everything. So I've loosened all the spark plug wires on one bank the coil pack along this side. If you pull the wire off here, it's a better chance of not getting sparked on and shocked than pulling the wire off under here. It's also easier. I don't have to remove that cover. So whichever wire you pull off and the engine runs exactly the same, well that's the cylinder that's not firing. Then you check if there's spark coming out of the one that's not firing. If it, there is, well then it could be the wire, the spark plug, or bad compression. Let's hope not bad compression. So let's cold starter. Ooh, this thing even has a sunroof. Alrighty, it's running exactly the same as yesterday. Yeah, you can hear that pulsing miss. Here we go. Oh, that one's working good. Next. That one's working good. Notice the sound in the engine? Those are good ones. Hmm. The engine doesn't change with this one. Not at all. Try this one. Definitely a big change. So, it doesn't appear to be the coil pack. So, this one that doesn't make any difference goes to number two. Shut her down. Check the plug. If that looks good, then check the compression. By the way, about the radio, I did get some good info from your comments. Never would have guessed it. But there's the CD thing. Oh, come on. Multi-disc compartment or whatever you call that, cartridge. Cool. Huh, looks something like the Yamaha high output that was in the Tauruses. Oh, there's what it looks like naked anyways. Well, now I took off the beauty cover. It's on the back of the motor. Removed number two wire. And I immediately found out what's wrong. See that little tiny black dot on that burnt ridge? The spark plug the high voltage is burnt right through there and arcing out. So, redneck repairs in hand. Wrap this with black vinyl electrical tape. Check the spark plug if it's not fouled, because it could be now. And the car's fixed. Sweet. What a score. A car like that, and the only repair is a piece of electrical tape that's worth a nickel? Ha! Huh, gotta love it. Now to check the spark plug. Ooh, it's been in there a while. Obviously this car has never had a tune-up because the spark plug wires still say 1997 on them, so that's the problem. I wonder if the plugs are original too. Yeah, of course they always fall back in the hole, but you can use your wire as a remover tool, I hope. 
Get in there. Uh, it's not fitting that good. I'll get something else. Ah, all I did was just pull the wire out of number one and shove it down number two. She's wet. I'll just burn her off with a torch. Wouldn't want to spend a nickel on this car. So now let me show you how to unfoul a spark plug. If it's from your motorcycle, snowmobile, whatever, your car, for free. Cool. This is how I do it. I very rarely buy a new spark plug for anything, unless it's all worn. This car's got some platinum spark plugs in it. Well, the trick is, you heat it till the center electrode turns nice and bright red hot. The hottest part of your flame is just where the small part of the blue tips are near the bottom, just at the tip of those, not back here, and not too far in, about right there, that's the hottest. Now if it was darker out, you'd be able to see that everything is red now. So we're all set for installation. The problem you've just witnessed is really popular, or really common, on the kind of cars that have like a hemi head. You know, with the spark plugs right in the middle of the rocker cover. These long stalks carry over 30,000 volts, and when the plastic gets old, it starts to arc through. This is the one from number one cylinder it's still good. So, so many modern cars nowadays have these kind of wires with the long post on them and if you have a misfire it's very commonly just a problem like that you can fix with some tape until you want to buy a new set of wires. So let's put this back together and see what's going to happen. We're lucky on these ones they were white. It's re it was really easy to see where it was burnt but very often they're black and the hole is almost microscopic sometimes so you can't see where they're burnt. Uh, so maybe sometimes you see a little bit of grayness. So let's try her out. Oh, that sounds better already. No more little puffy sound. Let's do the final test. Sounds good here. Unhook that. Oh, there's the puffy sound back. The thumpy sound. Perfect. Wow. Gee, it's good to be Canadian where our economy is so good that people can give away a car like this just for one bad spark plug. You know, just a wire, just a piece of tape. Wow. Anybody want to buy it now? Seems too good to wreck on Sky Hill. Let's take her for a test drive. See how fast 260 horsepower real really feels like. Looks like a front wheel drive Mustang GT, I guess. Might have to be a bit careful. Got four brand new tires to go with it. I don't quite want to burn off. Well, maybe.